Exacto. Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain Television. Within the framework of his official visit to Egypt, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa paid a visit today to Al Azhar al Sharif. On arrival, His Majesty was welcomed by the Grand Imam of Al Azhar, Dr. Ahmed Al Tayyib, the Under Secretary Abbas Shoman, member of the Grand Al Ulama Commission of Al Azhar, Mohammed Zakhzouk, Dean of Al Azhar University, Dr. Ibrahim Hudhud, and other senior officials. The Grand Imam of Al Azhar gave a speech. تشريفكم اليوم ليس تقديرا للأزهر فحسب 
وإنما هو تقدير وتكريم لأكثر من مئة دولة من دول العالم الإسلامي في القارات الست ترسل وأبنائها وبناتها يدرسوا في الأزهر الشريف علوم الدين والدنيا ويتخرجون فيه سفراء سلام ورسل هداية وعلماء عدولا ينفون عن هذا الدين تحريف الغالين وانتحال المضطهدين وتأويل الجاهلين. وإن هذه الأريحية الملكية التي شملتم بها الأزهر وعلماءه اليوم ليست بغريبة على البحرين الشقيقة ولا على مليكها الذي جمع إلى فضيلتي العدل والحكمة بعد النظر وسعة الصدر والبصر بالملمات في إقبالها وإدبالها والتعامل معها بحنكة السياسي القدير والقائد الحازم والأب الرحيم وهي ليست أيضا غريبة على شعب البحرين الذي كانت أرضه وستظل إن شاء الله مجمعا للثقافات والأفكار والمذاهب وبوتقة تنصهر فيها كل هذه التنوعات وتترك بصماتها على الشخصية البحرينية لتنفرد بالعقلانية واستيعاب التحديات واستثمارها دائما لصالح الوطن وقضاياه الكبرى والأزهر الشريف يقدر البحرين الشقيقة تقديرا خاصا لما لها من منزلة خاصة في التراث الإسلامي وخصوصية في الثبات على الإسلام ودعمه ومساندته منذ أيامه الأولى في عهد النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم على ما يتبين للباحث في كتب السيرة والسنة إن الأزهر إن يقدر كل ذلك فإنه اليوم يقف داعما لوحدة شعب البحرين واستقلال إرادته وعدم التدخل في شؤونه الداخلية. والأزهر إذ يعلن ذلك فإنه لا يتحدث بلغة السياسة ولا يسلك في دروبها فهو بحكم مسؤوليته الدينية والتاريخية بعيد كل البعد عن هذا المجال الذي يدعه يدعه لأهله وفرسانه وقادته ولكن الأزهر مسؤول في المقام الأول عن التصدي للأصوات المنكرة التي تعبث بأمن البلاد والعباد وتلبس في الوقت نفسه ثوب الإسلام زورا وبهتانا وتخدع الجماهير الطيبة بفتاوى بعض العمائم التي تدعو إلى تقسيم الولاء للأوطان وتوزيعه وترسيخ الانتماء إلى قوى خارجية تتربص بالأمة وتزرع الفتنة والشقاق والتشرذم بين أبنائها. فالولاء للوطن من مقاصد الشريعة الإسلامية وأصل من أصولها وكفى أن شريعتنا تعلمنا أن من مات دون أرضه أو دون عبده أو دون ماله فهو شهيد بل من مات غريبا عن أرضه ووطنه فهو شهيد كذلك وفي ذلك ما فيه من الدلالة القاطعة على حرمة الأوطان وقدسيتها وأن الاستشهاد في سبيلها استشهاد في سبيل الله صاحب الجلالة الملك محمد بن عيسى ملك البحرين سعد بكم الأزهر الشريف وسعدت مصر وشعبها بهذه الزيارة الكريمة المفعمة بالمحبة والأخوة والتي جاءت لتؤكد على رسوخ العلاقات بين شعبي البلدين العريقين الشقيقين مصر والبحرين شكرا جزيلا والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Then His Master the King gave the following speech. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam ala Rasulullah. Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi 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 wa
محمد أحمد طيب شيخ الأزهر الشريف أيها الأخوة الأعزاء السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بداية يسرني أن أشكر فضيلتكم على كلمتكم القيمة الداعمة والمساندة لمملكة البحرين وهذا الموقف الأصيل ليس غريبا على الأزهر الشريف وعلماء المحترمين الذين عرفوا بالوسطية والاعتدال والحكمة والانتصار للحق. أيها الأخوة الكرام، بفخر الانتماء لأمتنا العربية والإسلامية، سعدنا بزيارة أرض الكناء مصر الأزهر، حرسها الله قيادة وشعب. مثمنين لأهل مصر مواقفهم المشرفة عبر التاريخ الذي يمثل الأزهر الشريف بعلماء الأجلاء صفحة من صفحاته المحفورة بالعز والفخر عبر تاريخ مصر الحضارية العريقة وإذ تجمعنا بجمهورية مصر العربية الشهيرة بشعبها وبقيادتها الحكيمة وعلى رأسها فخامة الأخ الرئيس عبد الفتاح السيسي أواصل الأخوة المتجذرة عبر تاريخ أمتنا المجيد فإننا نسأل الله العلي القدير أن يدين ويتم ما بيننا من علاقات وروابط أخوية صادقة وتعاون بناء في كل المجالات مستذكرين بهذا المقام ما تفضلتم به فضيلتكم من كلمات في زيارتكم لمملكه البحرين والتي اسعدتنا حين قلتم ان للوطن البحريني في عقولنا وقلوبنا مكانه خاصه فهو الوطن العريق الذي تلاقت فيه الحضارات والثقافات الانسانيه واستطاع ان يستوعبها ويسوق منها في ضوء ثقافته الاسلاميه القراء مزاجا متحضرا رائدا في المنطقه متميزا بالاعتدال والتوازن ومتسما بالتفتح والتسامح وسعه الافق والتعاون على العيش المشترك وان نظرتكم هذا هي ما نراه نحن ايضا تجاه صاحب الفضيلة الإمام الأكبر إن للأسر الشريف وعلماء الأجلاء دورا رائدا في خدمة قضايا الإسلام والمسلمين وأن المكان المرموق للأزهر ومشايخه في قلوب المسلمين من مشارق الأرض ومقاربه تلقى المزيد من المسؤوليات التي نثق لأن الأزهر رجال الكرماء قادر على القيام بها خير قيام. وان الرصيد العلمي والفكري والثقافي الذي يمتلكه الازهر الشريف يجعل منه المؤسسه الاسلاميه التي تستحق رياده الساحه الاسلاميه بفكر وسطي محتدد يترجم النهج الحضاري الذي قام عليه الازهر منذ اكثر من الف عام. وإذ نقدر بفضيلتكم جهودكم في نشر الفكر الإسلامي الوسط مثمنين الدور الكبير الذي تطلعون به ورجال الأزهر الشريف في حراسة الإسلام والدفاع عن قضايا المسلمين فإننا نعتز بهذه الريادة الأزهر الشريف الذي يكن له شعب البحرين بتنوع وتعدد اطيافه كل تقدير واحترام. سائلين الله تبارك وتعالى ان يحفظ مصر وشعبها وان يديم عليها الامن والرخاء وان يوفقنا جميعا لخدمه ديننا وامتنا انه خير مسؤول واكرم مامور والسلام عليكم.
The Grand Imam of Al Azhar then presented a commemorative gift to His Majesty the King. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa visited today His Holiness Pope Tuadros II of Alexandria and Patriarch of St. Mark at the Coptic Orthodox Church in Cairo. His Majesty was received by His Holiness Pope Tuadros and officials. The meeting highlighted the deep rooted relations between Bahrain and Egypt. His Holiness Pope Tuadros presented to His Majesty a commemorative gift.
His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received in Cairo accredited ambassadors of Arab countries. The ambassadors greeted His Majesty and conveyed greetings and best wishes from their leaders to His Majesty and to Bahrain, wishing Bahrain prosperity. His Majesty highlighted with the audience the deep-rooted relations among the brotherly countries, lauding their progress in all fields. He expressed Bahrain's keenness to further enhance these relations in order to achieve the goals of all countries. He hailed the role of the ambassadors and their efforts to enhance cooperation and defend the Arab issues. The meeting involved discussions about recent regional developments. His Majesty then conveyed his greetings to the leaders of brotherly countries through the ambassadors. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today in Cairo the Arab League Secretary General Dr. Nabil Al Arabi. His Majesty affirmed the major role played by the Arab League in enhancing Arab joint action and unifying stances regarding the challenges that face the region. He expressed appreciation for Al Arabi's significant efforts in enhancing cooperation between Arab countries regarding the current situation and the Arab nation, which requires increasing efforts to maintain the region's security and stability. He also affirmed Bahrain's unwavering stance of supporting all initiatives aimed at achieving the region's security, stability, and peace. For his part, Dr. Al Arabi thanked His Majesty for Bahrain's supportive stance to the Arab League and for the Kingdom's keenness to enhance Arab joint action. He also praised His Majesty the King's initiative of forming a human rights court. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received today in Cairo the new Arab League Secretary General, Ahmed Abdel Ghait. His Majesty affirmed Bahrain's support to the Arab League initiatives regarding enhancing cooperation and coordination between the League's members, which aim to achieve the aspirations of the Arab nation's people. His Majesty hailed the brotherly historic consolidated ties between the Kingdom and Egypt and lauded the fruitful results of this visit in enhancing Bahraini-Egyptian relations. For his part, Ahmed Abdel Ghait thanked His Majesty the King and expressed pride in the Kingdom's honorable stances regarding defending Arab causes. The Foreign Minister Sheikh Khaled bin Ahmed bin Mohammed Al Khalifa was interviewed by Al-Ahram newspaper. He said that His Majesty the King's visit to Egypt affirms a deep-rooted bilateral relations as it included the signing of 19 agreements in various fields. He said the visit included the exchange of opinions, cooperation and coordination between the two leaders and recent regional Arab and international developments. He praised the firm stances of Egypt towards Bahrain and their contributions to the progress of the kingdom. Bahrain's ambassador to Egypt, Sheikh Rashid bin Abdul Rahman Al Khalifa, stressed that the Egyptian president awarding His Majesty with the Nile Medal is an affirmation of the deep brotherly relations between the two countries and an appreciation to His Majesty for his continuous stance to Egypt. The ambassador highlighted the role of Egypt in its stances in protecting the Arab nation's issues. He said the discussion between both leaders will draw a strategy that will combat terrorism and face all attempts aiming to threaten security and stability. On the occasion of His Majesty's official visit to Egypt, the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayda Zayani, visited the Egyptian Bourse, accompanied by CEO of Bahrain Bourse, Sheikh Khalifa bin Ibrahim Al Khalifa, and officials, and were received by the chairman of the Egyptian Bourse, Dr. Mohammed Imran. The Egyptian Bourse signed a cooperation agreement in order to facilitate double entry process between the two bourses, as well as cooperation in enhancing the technological infrastructure and informatics for the Bahrain Bourse to contribute to facilitate the flow of investment between the two countries. The MOU was signed by the CEO of Bahrain Bourse in the presence of the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism. As Zayani said that the agreement between the two bourses is part of a series of cooperation agreements and a memorandum of understanding signed during the successful visit by His Majesty the King to Egypt. He added that this agreement reflects the sincere desire of both officials to take all measures to overcome obstacles that hinder the exchange of investment in all sectors and the two bourses. He also said that this agreement will enhance the level of cooperation between the two bourses and will certainly open the way to create many investment opportunities for all investors. The CEO of Bahrain Bourse thanked Dr. Amran for his efforts and for signing the agreements. Dr. Amran said that the agreement is an important step towards deepening the Egyptian Bourse relations with Arab Bourses especially with regards to dual entry, where the Egyptian Bourse's focus is to attract regional companies. 
He added that the two bourses will cooperate to enhance the technological infrastructure information. The minister expressed hope for all parties concerned to benefit from this agreement. The Bahraini Egyptian economic relations continue to flourish with a 20% boost in overall trade between the two countries during the past year. This report sheds light on the importance of bilateral visits to the economic ties between the two countries. Bahrain and Egypt's economic relationship is one that is based on strong roots, reflecting the strength of the bilateral ties between the two nations. The visits between the two countries' leadership stem from the desire to reinforce this economic and trade partnership. Bahrain has a number of MOUs with Egypt spanning over different fields. Total trade with Egypt in 2015 reached 396 million US dollars, growing 20% from 2014 with the exclusion of oil and gas-related goods. There are 13 different registered Egyptian companies and agencies in Bahrain in the fields of pharmacy, aviation, travel and food. Bahrain has long pledged to boost its trade exchange with Egypt with the aim of sparing economic growth and promoting sustainable development in both countries. His Majesty's current visit to Egypt comes to reinforce his pledge of strengthening our economic relationship with the country. His Majesty is accompanied by a high-level economic delegation headed by the Minister of Industry, Commerce and Tourism, Zayed Zayani. The visiting BCCI delegation held a joint Bahraini-Egyptian business forum on Tuesday with their Egyptian counterparts, which resulted in the drafting of 13 trade deals and agreements. The Bahraini-Egyptian economic relations continue to flourish as Bahrain remains committed to invigorate the flow of investments between both sides and encourage joint ventures. Hamid Shaban, Bahrain Television News. The deputy to His Majesty the King and Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, issued Royal Order 21 for this year, appointing Isa bin Abdurrahman Al Hamadi as advisor for media affairs at the Crown Prince's court. According to the order, it will come into effect on the day it is issued. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued Edict Number 25 for the year 2016. Approving the review reports, the Institutional and Cooperation and Qualification Accreditation edicts, as well as the annual report issued by the National Authority for Qualifications and Quality Assurance of Education and Training. The Prime Minister also issued Edict No. 26 for the year 2016 on the work system of the Directorate of National Examinations. The Deputy Prime Minister and Chairman of the Supreme Council for the Development of Education and Training, Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, patronized today the graduation ceremony of the fourth batch of the Bahrain Teachers College at the University of Bahrain in the presence of representatives, Council Speaker Ahmed Al Mullah, and officials. The Deputy Prime Minister expressed appreciation to all the efforts of the college, which comes under the reform project of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, with the support of their Royal Highnesses the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, and the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. He lauded the role of the government and society in all efforts aimed to achieve success in the development of education and training. He also hailed the achievements of the students and their teachers, wishing them every success. The Education Minister, Majid Al Naimi, highlighted the achievements of the college and lauded the vision of the wise leadership. The director of the National Institute of Education in Singapore, Professor Tan Ong Singh, lauded the efficiency and competency of the college. The deputy prime minister then honored the graduates and distributed their certificates. The ceremony included 164 graduates.
The custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, received today Imam Palace in Riyadh in the presence of the Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Minister of the Interior, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Naif bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, GCC Interior Ministers, as part of their visit to Saudi Arabia to take part in the 17th consultative meeting. The GCC Interior Ministers expressed their thanks and appreciation to the dedicated efforts of the custodian of the two holy mosques and head of the current session of the GCC Supreme Council in reinforcing Gulf cooperation to achieve its noble goals, including the accomplishment of the inspirations of Gulf nationals for more unity, integration, and prosperity. They also expressed appreciation to the wise directives of the custodian of the two holy mosques. The Minister of the Interior, Lt. Gen. Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, headed Bahrain's delegation to the 17th consultative meeting of GCC Interior Ministers in Riyadh, which was chaired by Saudi Crown Prince, Deputy Premier and Interior Minister in its current session, His Royal Highness Prince Mohammed bin Naif bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. The meeting discussed important security topics that could reinforce joint security work and goals of GCC countries to achieve security and stability and protect its accomplishments. The GCC Secretary General, Dr. Abdel Latif Zayani, highlighted that the Interior Minister reviewed the vision of the custodian of the two holy mosques to reinforce joint GCC security work, expressing appreciation of the approval of this vision by Their Majesties and Highnesses, GCC leaders, in the 36th session that was held in Riyadh in December. He said that Their Highnesses and Excellencies, GCC Interior Ministers, directed undersecretaries of the Interior Ministries to follow up the implementation of this ambitious vision. He said that they expressed appreciation of the signing of a cooperation agreement between Omani and Qatari governments and security, applauding this important step that could reinforce security cooperation between the two brotherly countries. They reviewed a number of reports referred by the undersecretaries of the interior ministries, including the meetings of the work team of the joint GCC security exercise, Arabian Gulf Security One, and the latest work of the security team that is assigned to link GCC countries in one secure network. The GCC General Secretary highlighted that Their Highnesses and Excellencies Interior Ministers asserted the commitment of fighting terrorist groups that threaten security and stability, applauding the initiative of Saudi Arabia and the formation of an Islamic coalition to fight the Daesh terrorist group for its major risk on the security and stability of the region and the world. The GCC interior ministers applauded the outcomes of the Gulf-U.S. summit that was hosted in Riyadh on April 21st, including the commitment of GCC countries and the U.S. to strategic partnership to achieve regional security, stability, and prosperity, and to take more steps to defeat Daesh and Al-Qaeda terrorist groups, in addition to enhance the capabilities of GCC countries in facing foreign and internal threats and the Iranian practices that work towards disturbing stability. They expressed appreciation to Kuwait for hosting the political negotiations that are carried by the United Nations envoy with the concerned parties to end the Yemeni crisis and bring peace to Yemen. On the sidelines of the meeting, the Minister of the Interior, rather Interior, met with the UAE Deputy Prime Minister and Interior Minister Sheikh Saif bin Zayed Al Nahyan as part of security cooperation and coordination between the two brotherly countries. The Interior Minister applauded the strong historical ties between the two brotherly countries that are witnessing development in the era of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and the UAE President, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Zayed Al Nahyan. The meeting discussed security, cooperation, and coordination between the Interior Ministries of both countries and topics of common interest. The MOI delegation included the Bahrain Ambassador to Saudi Arabia, the MOI Undersecretary, and a number of officers. <laughs>